Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're looking at the 8th to the 14th of August 2022 and the reading won't be for everyone so just take what resonates with you as always. Let's see what we have for Aquarius please. Message for Aquarius. We have the Eight of Wands, and we have Judgment. King of Swords, can be actually you, you in the Minor Arcana for me as a reader. King of Swords could be Aquarius, but in this energy it is still the King of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. Oh my goodness, the sun, happiness, joy, good news, celebration. We have the nine of swords, yeah. Love it, knight of pentacles. And we have the five of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the ten of swords. It feels like um, for a lot of you, there's an indication here, Aquarius, this week is linked to some kind of ending or surrendering to the Ten of Swords is surrendering to a painful ending of some kind. Now, for some of you, it feels like there's incoming news that brings things to an end. And it's, it's, it, it's been going that way. It's been going that way, I feel, for a period of time because I have the Nine, I have the Ten of Swords, things have been leading towards this here, um, towards the end of something that has been testing. But there is a feeling in the near future, things end. And you step into the light, you know, there's happiness and joy and you can liberate from the whole thing. And that's the energy that I'm getting. This is an energy, if you can finally put this difficult situation behind you and liberate from it and embrace this really warm, positive, uplifting energy. This is the energy of a new day. A new day is rising and dawning, is here, is coming. And you can just put everything else behind you. And that's the energy that I'm getting quite strongly because there's a lot of cards that are telling me in this reading, something is coming to a close. It's been challenging, it's been difficult, uh, emotional, testing, mentally even, but it's coming to a close here. And I feel this is about news coming towards you. It's a significant judgment. You're waiting on a decision. Now, that could be a legal thing for a lot of you. It's linked with something to do with money. Again, this could be anything from, uh, you know, a difficult work situation where you might be getting some kind of settlement or payout. For others of you, this could well be to do with divorce or getting alimony, you know, if you were owed it in some way. Um, it can also be to do with inheritance issue. Again, whatever this is, um, things like division of assets, property and so on and so forth. It feels something is coming to a close here. A decision is coming in and it's a just one. And it's got karma behind it in the sense that spirit is working for you Um this judgment is going to be fair and allows you to release from a situation that has been challenging. So it does feel that you're getting news, communication in. And when it comes in, it comes in very quickly, uh, out of the blue, out of the blue, you're hearing a major decision or choice here um, that brings something to a final close. For a lot of you, this could be a legal thing or an official thing of some kind where there's been an impartial decision maker deciding whatever this monetary thing is for you uh, that has been challenging. We have the King of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're challenged because you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you haven't got the news. Uh, 
This can also be somebody who actually brings news communication. I haven't heard from this person. I'm waiting to hear. And I'm going crazy, the Nine of Swords. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, stress, worry, anxiety. I don't know what the outcome is because when we don't know what's ahead, we kind of think twice as much, don't we? Things go around in our minds, our thought patterns, you know, affects our sleep patterns if it's something that really worries us and challenges us. So... Um, this is just the energy of where your mind runs out of a little bit of control here and loses that perspective a bit because we just you just don't know what's going to happen. So there's a feeling of that news is coming, but it's, it's you're waiting for it. And in that period, you're just thinking, what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, thinking potentially things, everything that could go wrong, everything that could work against you, you know, everything that wouldn't be in your favor. Well, it does feel like it's going in your favor. There's karma here. Um, because the, the Nine of Wands is you're one step away. Uh, there's, there's a feeling here that you've been persevering on a path uh, and it's been hard work. Somebody has been really tested. But this is the energy here. It's always going to be, it's always darkest before the dawn. Uh, there, there may well be kind of like final things that you're finishing here um, or final things that are coming to a close here in a situation. Yeah. Oh, okay, the other, the other message that I'm getting here, Aquarius, is I've done everything that I can. I've done everything that I can. And now it's, it's, in, the, it's in the lap of the gods, which it is. Um, it's that kind of energy. I've done everything that I can. But we have the Knight of Coins, which is an offer, an offer coming in, and it's very abundant. Um, and it signifies it's linked with some kind of offer. Yeah, th there's a feeling here. Someone sat here thinking, I don't know what's going to happen now, thinking the worst, the worst possible outcome of a situation, which is human nature. Um, and a feeling of, I've done everything that I can. I... I I've just got to surrender now and hope that it's it's you know it's going to be favorable and I'm going to get an offer and with this being in that energy um spirit is pretty much telling you that you are going to get some kind of offer it's very abundant the knight of coins is is slow energy um but is always worth waiting for you know because it's always abundant, you know, uh, brings abundant change. So this can be anything from job opportunities, job offers, business opportunities. Um, in this energy, it feels like it's linked to some kind of monetary settlement or payment or reward of some kind. So whatever that would be for you can be linked with business, assets, money and um, property of some kind. So some award of that nature. And there is an ending here, but you can see the ending marks the end of a difficult situation, a painful situation. It can be linked where you felt stabbed in the back, persecuted, scapegoated, um, deeply wounded, deeply hurt, betrayed. I mean, there's a number of energies that we feel with the Ten of Swords, but it is an ending. It's an end to all of those feelings to all of that experience because you can see the sun is beginning to pierce through the light is coming behind those clouds and there is the the energy of an end of a painful situation and there is a new day a new dawn rising this feeling of of it takes time because the five of cups can be a card of grief it can be a card of of loss as well so these energies can also mean loss if you've been dealing with inheritance issues it can be i still miss that person i still have to come to terms emotionally with you know even though i might have been you might have been dealing with an inheritance issue here i still i still have to come to terms with moving on and building a new life for myself and missing that person now that could be also in terms of divorce or missing a job or wondering if you could have changed things you know we sometimes look back at the past and think could I have done something differently do I do, am I you know it's where we start beating ourselves up sometimes as well with the five of cups energy so just be aware of that here Aquarius whatever it means to you um this is that process here of spirit saying listen Behind this person, this is gone. These cups are spilt. That's done. 
but there are two cups now being shone on that card. This is where the, the cups are the full, uh, where there's opportunity, where there's an opportunity where, uh, that promises something fulfilling to move forward to. So this is an energy of all is never lost. There's hope in a situation in moving forward. It's a process of acceptance of what's gone, but there's an opportunity to really move forward now because there is a new day here, a new day dawning. This is, the sun is a new day. Um, and there is such a lovely energy here of it's always dark is before the dawn. An opportunity and a certainty that with every sun that sets, the sun will rise again. And this is that kind of energy of the sun rising. Um, and it's glorious. You know, this is happiness, new happiness coming your way, joy. It can be linked with good news. It can also be linked with success. Um, but it's an energy of light after dark, liberation uh, from a testing path and setting foot on the path of light, happiness, joy, finding new happiness and being released from something, regeneration, healing, um, success. It's a lovely, lovely energy, the sun. It's the most positive card in the tarot deck in the sense that something feels like it's ended here with some kind of decision coming your way. But you can now finally, Spirit is saying, you can finally release and embrace a brand new day and move forward, you know, um, because Spirit is, is shining the path for you. You know, this is the path is lit for you. It's a lovely energy of, of uh, regardless of whether it's good news, celebration, joy, happiness, it could well be that some kind of outcome comes in, some kind of decision comes in that is very positive for you. But you're still dealing with the energies of something coming to an end here for whatever reason. Okay. Final message for Aquarius. Oh, I love that. Golden Unicorn Ascension. Awaken to your soul's poten potential. Yeah. It's a lovely energy here, Aquarius. This is an opportunity to rise as well. Uh, the unicorn is also a very lucky energy. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.